Taking a thumbnail. This is Kyle here with All Dogs Off Road. What's going hey. on, everybody? Oh, well, I guess we're restarting that. What's going on, everybody? This is Kyle and Chad with All Dogs Off Road, and today we are going to be installing some Asphere skid plates on our Shop Xterra. Asphere was kind enough to send us out these aluminum skid plates, um, and we are a big fan of them. I've been running. I'm on my second set. I had a set on my. Uh, 05 Lexus GX 470 and I have a set now uh, which is gone and then I have a set now on my 22 Nissan Frontier and Kyle's got a set on his uh, 2015 Nissan Frontier. They are a 50-52 aluminum. Um, they're a quarter inch thick, nice and lightweight but also very durable and the nice thing about 50-52 aluminum is that uh, if you're to uh, go out on the trail and hit a rock uh, and you know put a big dent into these plates all you do is just lay them on a flat surface take a hammer you can pound them back into shape and get them back on the vehicle and go um, it's a very lightweight very strong material and you know compared to we like aluminum skid plates for the weight savings and for the type of uh, overlanding and off-roading we do some guys prefer steel plates because Steel will slide over uh, a rock, whereas aluminum will kind of gall on it and have a little bit more friction. Um, but the the weight savings is is massive. I think a, a set of steel skid plates probably weighs about three times yeah. what these aluminum plates. Yeah, weigh. all three with brackets are ninety nine pounds total. And on those, we've tested them on rocks. You know, they say they're they're not great on rocks, is what is what you hear, but. With us going to Tuttle, that's all we mess with. And after two years of being on my truck, they're they're tore up, but they still do what they're supposed to. We've had no issues with them, so yeah. they're a, a high quality product. Sphere is a company based out of Israel, um, and Ofri and Rio are cool. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Starting front to back, you'll have engine skid and radiator skid this will be your transmission and transfer case and then the one at the end is your fuel tank skid so we'll start front to back this is going to be your bracket for your front it mounts to where your factory tow hook goes and it also comes with a little bracket that bolts your cross member for support for that front skid this bigger middle bracket here is for the back of the transmission transfer case skid and then for your fuel tank skid you have Three, it appears, odd odds and ends for brackets for that. And then it has all the hardware. Uh, as for tools needed, it's pretty straightforward. It's easier if you have an electric impact for the tow hook bolts, but tow hook bolts are gonna be 17. And then the bigger bolts in this kit will be 19. The majority of them will be 13 mil. And then the small ones that attach the small bracket to the cross member are 10. And that's all you need. The front bracket will bolt to where your existing tow hooks are gonna be. Uh, most of the U.S. Xterra and Frontier models do not come with this driver's side tow hook. So you have two bolt holes here. And then on this side, you'll remove your factory tow hook. Um, you can put it on with the bracket if you want. It goes on the bottom or you can just delete it. Uh, we're going to delete it just because we're going to end up putting some kind of your high clearance bumper on this in the future. And it'll have its own tow hooks on that. Uh, as for the front, there are four little tabs on the front of it. You can hold it up there. So these four little tabs are going to mount. There's four mounts here in the in the front bumper cover, and we'll just throw a bolt through them and we'll just get it all in. So we've got our forward support installed for our engine skid, uh, the S-Sphere. Uh, plates come with a second mounting 
spacer. It looks spacer like. right here. So uh, it'll be two 10 mil bolts right here. Um, and then I think from here, we'll probably do the cross member back there yeah. and then we'll start putting plates on. So the middle bracket here for your transmission skid, there'll be two holes here. There's a regular circled hole and then there's an oval one. The bracket with the bolts goes through the oval one. I'm pretty sure that's just for adjustment and it keeps everything pushed back far enough. So, so the back skid plate or transmission skid plate, I should say, there's going to be two different length bolts in this 13 mil. The shorter ones, they mount to the transmission cross member. And then there's also one in the middle it goes to, and then the five longer ones, three of them go in the front to mount to the cross member, and then two go through, they pass through some braces in the frame, and you have to end up putting a, a bolt and a nut on them. So yeah, so we'll get to put those on now. Now that we've got the transmission one on, we're gonna put the front one on. Uh, you wanna stack these back to front. That way you don't have a lip to catch on a rock and it should slide over. So as the front one goes on over this one, there'll be a natural step towards the back instead of towards the front. The front skid will come with two different lengths of bolts again. These front five are all gonna be the shorter ones and then it'll come with three longer ones for the back. And there's also these two will be longer bolts and they'll have a threaded hole. This one, there is no hole, but it comes with one of these. You can see we have one installed already, but it comes with this just for added security. So we're starting with the fuel tank uh, skids now. There's a bracket that actually mounts where your fuel strap uh, mounts as well. So you're gonna be reusing the same fastener. So this metal piece that I've got here is your bracket and I'm gonna put it back in here. Back it mounted, now we're gonna mount the forward. This is, so you're gonna miss some footage where we did this incorrectly, but this bracket here uh, installs just slightly to the side of your gas tank strap. So it's gonna go right here and it's gonna cinch right in and then we'll be able to put the glass plate on. This is going to be your third bracket. Uh, the bolts bolt directly into the frame. With ours having nearly 300,000 miles on it, I did have to run a tap down the threads, clean them up, and everything bolted on. So now that all the brackets are on, we are going to go the skid on the truck. So we finished the install of these Osphere skid plates. Uh, it's a pretty simple process uh, with a little bit of test fitting and some tightening down, but you've got uh, full protection from engine all the way to fuel tank. And we love them. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and blah, blah, blah. I don't know.